So I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. Uh, been playing the Tomb Raider game since 1996. That makes me feel old, so be it. But uh, I want to say this is hopefully going to be a big series. This game is fantastic. I've been playing it for about an hour. And I just I didn't know how to start this series off. So I want to see when you guys found my YouTube channel. And also, uh, just all the likes and support is, is so much appreciated from you guys. Uh, I think on average we hit like 10,000 likes per new series. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to make this video very long for you. So hope you just get a good feel for the game to see if you want to buy it. I know the game doesn't come out for like another week. But anyways, I love you all and here you go. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I'd finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us That's one way to start a game. <laughs> oh shit, Help! this is actually- Man, I thought this was still a cutscene for a second. The graphics are gorgeous. Help! Swing fish, swing for life! Help! Uh, man, I haven't played Tomb Raider a long time. Good lord. It's a complete reboot, so hopefully this is a be a fresh experience. What the fuck? I can't die like this. Can't die like this, no shit. Oh my god. I just realized what I gotta do. I can't see Oh my goodness. You can't really do anything, you just swing back and forth. There's another one. 
It is gonna, gonna hurt. hurt. You gotta have strength. Oh, I'm fucking on fire. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my, don't pull it out, what are you doing? Oh, shit. This game has some of the best visuals, and I, I, I don't even care for graphics, but... I actually was going through my closet and I found my original Tomb Raider game. What the fuck? What is this place? This what game is amazing so far. Oh wait, oh, let's grab that torch. torch. Oh, that was loud. I'm playing this on Xbox 360 for those curious. I'm a, I've been a fan of Tomb Raider since the original PlayStation one. Oh my god, I still got the black label of that somewhere in the depths of my closet. Then I played two. <laughs> Oh, she's got this little survival scan thing now. Okay. So I light this. And then I guess I light the... Looks like I light this and it goes up here to the cloth. Yep. It's going to be a real good time, guys. This is going to be a fun series. I hope you enjoyed this long first video. Or at least I hope it's going to be long. Oh, shit. Get back, get back, get back. The closest thing I've ever played to this on my channel is I Am Alive. That's about it. Everybody was actually getting this game early and I was able to get it and uh... Are you fucking kidding? No you don't! Stop struggling. Come on, you can do it. Keep that flame above water. Yeah, I've, I've definitely got to do a full series on this. I was kind of unsure. I was going to see how like the likes and dislikes did. Holy shit. I still can't believe that this is like, I, I'm eager to play this on the PC now. Tied. Need to find a way out. Yep, that's the way. I gotta somehow get over there. I gotta find another flame, it looks like. Actually, hang on. What's up here? Oh, you know what? Yeah, this is gonna be real fun. All right, so we're gonna go through here. Fire is needed, no shit. Basically, anything going to that, I'm gonna have to light. But you know what? It doesn't matter because... Hang on, let me just try that anyways. No, no, come on, you can do it. It's gonna burn out. No? No, yeah, I'm about to say it's gonna burn out. I was like, it's not gonna stop. What kind of contraption is this? Some kind of torture device. All I know is I'm getting away from it. Oh yes. There you go. I think on average the first part of most series that I've started this year. We've hit about 10,000 likes, so if, if this hits that, you expect me to spam the shit out of this series. Nice. Oh, you can make it! Beautiful. That's really what you have to do. You have to get stuff past that little waterfall. I didn't think you could actually make that jump when she's like hurt like this. Alright, here goes nothing, guys. You ready for this? 
And fucking fire! There it goes! I've gotta get out of here! I have to say that I've played a lot of games since I've been doing this YouTube thing. This one has it's gotta be one of the best looking games I've ever seen. And I can only imagine on PC at 1080p 60 hertz or whatever, 60 frames per second. It's gonna look even better. Oh, you better run! They definitely did a good job with this game. Oh shit! Oh, are you fucking kidding? Go, 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 go! Light them on fire! They got dynamite on them! Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead as fuck. Alright, here we go again. You gotta just really just wait for it. There we go. Crunch! Good lord. So apparently this game, she's 21, like just out of college or whatever. Holy fuck! Here we go! Here we go! Oh, come on, quick time event! Come on, quick time event! Oh, man! Holding up, because I think that's what you gotta do. Salvation! Look at these visuals. Just take it in. I want to say thank you all for the support. If you've dropped any, it really does help a lot. And uh, this is going to be a fun series. I gotta tell you that. The lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. Search for traces of other survivors. So I'm not really sure what happened. I think she was on a cruise in this game. Okay. Take it slow. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I've put enough Uncharted games to know where this is going. Oh, God. I'm gonna lose that fear heights. It, you know, it's it's no... Okay, okay there's no, no balance in that. Obviously, you're not just supposed to go to the side. I don't know if, if, if I could, like, I'm going to try to make this first part as long as possible. I try to make it make sense, you know, I'm not going to end in the middle of a sentence or something, so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it actually turns out pretty good. I'd like to do more than just the intro, like, if there's, this isn't really a mission-based game, I guess. That's usually what I do, but we'll have to see how this goes. Okay. I'm kind of digging this. I oh, do man, this. I really got to climb this. Here goes, guys. Oh, hang on! Woo! Get up, get up! Oh, shit. On the side, going up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shimmy sideways. You can do this.
I gotta give them credit. They definitely, when I first saw trailers for this game like last year, I didn't think, I thought, man, that's gonna look amazing, but when I heard it was coming out in March, I kind of had my doubts. And I was like, I don't know. After playing it for a little bit, you can't, yeah, there's, there's, it's definitely a must buy. Sam's pack. Oh shit. I probably should have took it easy. Sam! They must have come this way. Crystal Dynamic just threw me a curveball. I was like, I got this. No, you don't. Take shelter from the storm. That's going to be pretty. Now, that, I will say that the waypoints, the original Tomb Raider, <laughs> there was like nothing you could do as, as far as uh, there was no waypoints or HUD or anything. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? But it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch 
I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously concerned. Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? I feel like this is like one long episode of Lost, you know? That's basically what's going on behind us all the J.J. Abrams lens flares and awkward shit going on. You see that deer? Oh, God. What's going on here? Holy shit. Wait, I can use that bow. I love the way this game plays as far as you have to find a weapon. You have to use something to get to it. There's some arrows right there. I mean, I can't use them right now. I have to get up there first. Oh man, I gotta go out on this branch. It's gonna be bad. Oh, hang tight. You better hang tight. I can do this. I give her courage, man. She just keeps saying, I can do this. Oh shit. Oh, hang. Oh my goodness. Let's see if this thing still works. Just so I was reading that this training. Oh hang on. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. I have to really just see what's around so me. Hungry. I need to find something to eat. Yeah, with this game, it was basically talking about how you don't just instantly become like a badass warrior. Kind of like how Far Cry 3, you, you didn't start out as this guy who knew combat or anything. It's just a typical guy. I think that's the same kind of thing for this game. And you gotta kill your food, you gotta build camps and all sorts of shit. Oh shit. Alright, I need something to eat. Where was that deer that I saw? Oh, look at this. What the hell? <gasps> Sorry, deer. Right in the face! Poor guy. Sorry. I was about to say, please don't make me do this. I did it enough in Far Cry 3. Turn to the camp with the meat. I like how they, they kind of keep the HUD right. or HUD, whatever you want to call it. You won't always Hang have on. some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. 
They, they kind of keep it very minimal. I really dig that. There's not some big thing on the screen. You really just kind of take in the entire visual of the forest and jungle and everything. And you can slowly follow these. Here we go. Set up camp. Base camp. Continue. Oh, nice. Okay. So I get to pick one. Uh, let's see. Thoroughly search crates. Bone collector. Let's try this. That'll be good since I'm... Um, yeah, I need more skill points. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Just keep moving. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was actually gonna say that I think a lot of the reviews for this game have been really positive so far. I would, I mean, I see like the eights and tens all over, so. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Apparently Crystal Dynamic, I think that's how you say it. They put a lot of effort into the music in this game, so. This could be a way through. It could be a one-way ticket. Damn it. Oh god, here we go. This is something I can never do. <laughs> she, she's more of a man than I'll ever be. That's what you're supposed to say. What are these markings? I'd be worried that the flames like set everything on fire and then it collapses. Then again, that might be too realistic. Where did she put that when she... What oh, am she... I doing? Yeah. Somebody's too, too away from drawing a horizontal line through the next one. There's some skull holes. This is, uh, I guess, where Predator was. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. This is insane. Wow. I'm about to be taking people's shit. This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. Oh, look at that. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of no I'm not about to put that on. Are you kidding me? Hang on, let's look around just a little bit longer. What we got in here? I guess like the more you explore, the more skill points you get. Really? You want me to set this on fire? Why would I do that again? How about we go through here first? Oh, okay. Something to pry this open. Well, time to set this bitch on fire. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but, you know, you leave me no choice. Oh no. Why would you want to wait for somebody to come back? Oh. 
Now I see. Okay. It's gonna be beautiful. There we go. I still like the bow. The crossbow is definitely... This, so, so this is pretty much the origin of Laura Croft. I think I said her name right. Oh god. <laughs> I just realized I might not have said that right. This reminds me like the first episode of Lost Season 2. I don't know why. That dude's like living underground for such a long time. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds of the battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <gasps> but what happened to you? Goodness. No! Sam! Oh no! It's like that movie Frozen! You can't be serious! I don't know why, but I was thinking of that movie The Descent. I'm ready. Something cares. If, if it comes near me, I'm killing it. Alright? That or I'm getting eaten alive. No! Yeah, I gotcha. I didn't think it would go into like almost bullet time. Just give me a chance. Oh, no, you don't. Now, the real survival would be if it didn't come at you in slow motion. And you had to kill him. Oh, no, you don't. She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. 
but I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You girls should nickel one thing off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Laura and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You, you gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Not so bad. All right, I figured this would be a good stopping point for the first part since this game just keeps going and going. I want to say this thank you all for the likes, all the support. Uh, if you want more, just keep doing what you're doing. An and uh, I love you all, and thanks for watching.